Good evening, Richland County, and welcome to your Tuesday edition of Live at 5. I'm Russell Parker. A pilot had to make an emergency landing in a Richland County field on late Tuesday morning. According to the Richland County Sheriff's Office, the 911 center received a call just after 11 a.m. today about a plane in distress possibly landing near Old Wicks Road. Deputies, Richland County Emergency Management, and crews from the Hamlet and East Rocket and Fire Departments responded to the area, according to the Sheriff's Office. The plane, pilot, and passenger were found a short time later in a straw field between Old Wicks Road and the US-74 bypass, according to the Sheriff's Office. Investigators say the plane was scheduled to make a stop at the Richland County Airport en route from Florida to West Virginia. The National Transportation Safety Board has been notified and will be in charge of the investigation. Troopers are asking for help in solving a fatal hit and run earlier this month. According to the North Carolina State Highway Patrol, troopers responded to a failed collision between a vehicle and a pedestrian around 3.45 a.m. on December 3rd. The incident happened on US 74 business between Clemmer Road and Pinely Avenue, just east of Rockingham. The victim, who has not been named, was reportedly struck in the road and the vehicle fled the scene. The suspect vehicle is believed to be a black or dark colored passenger vehicle with a white male driver and white female passenger. Anyone with information regarding this case is encouraged to contact the Highway Patrol Office in Richmond County at 910-557-9091. The Richmond Senior Girls and Boys Indoor Track and Field teams took to second place on Saturday in their respective events. Competing against a mixture of Sand Health Athletic Conference and non-conference opponents, the Lady Raiders recorded a season-high 131.5 points in the second Polar Bear Invitational of the season. Taken first as a team was Pinecrest, which led the field of seven schools with 229.5 points the Lady Raiders held a sizable advantage over third place Scotland. The boys used three first place finishes to help collect 114.5 points, a season high, and trailed only Pinecrest. Richmond finished ahead of third place Cape Fear. A trio of rare athletes, two sprinters and one jumper, brought home first overall in their respective event. Up next for the green and gold is the North Carolina Runners Holiday Invitational at the JDL Fast Track in Winston-Salem on Saturday. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. And welcome to your Live at 5 Weather Porsche County. Hope your Tuesday is going well. It's been a pretty chilly day today. I was not quite as cold as it was yesterday. Uh, still hanging around the 50s today for the most part. Not really getting higher than that. So definitely needed a jacket today. Although today I chose a lighter jacket rather than a heavier jacket. So I think I'm okay today, but might bring it back out here pretty soon because we are expecting colder temperatures moving forward. Uh, but for now, 6 o'clock, 43 degrees, party cloudy skies for the evening. It will cloudy up more as the night goes on, 36 degrees at 10. Sunset will be at 5.08 p.m. and there will be a waning give us moon phase out tonight as well. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, uh, the lows are looking a little bit better, although we still got a chance of rain rolling through the sand hills. Um, that will actually increase as the day goes on, especially into the later parts of the night. Cumberland County, a high of 50, low of 45. Hope County, High of 49, low of 45. Robeson County, a high of 51, and a low of 47. Same for uh, Scotland County. Moore County will be seeing a high of 49 and a low of 43, with Richmond here seeing a high of 50 and a low of 45. Our neighbors to the west, Anson County, a high of 49, low of 45, and down south of Marlboro County, 
high 51, low 47. Now looking at the seven day forecast, tomorrow will not be the only day of rain as some of that will trickle into Thursday with thunderstorms in the area, high of 66, low of 43. That should dissipate, dissipate, I think that's the right word. It should disappear, it's probably a better word for me to use right now, uh, by the end of the day for that day. Friday, party cloudy skies, a high of 58, low of 36. So we're going to be getting a little bit cooler weather on Friday. Weekend looking very, very chilly. Saturday, party cloudy skies, a high of 51, low of 30. And then Sunday, 47 for the high, 26 for the low. Sunny skies on Sunday, but we won't be feeling a lot of that sunshine at all with how cold it's going to be. So Monday, Party cloudy skies, a high of 49, a low of 33. And then Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies with a high of 52 and a low of 38. So that's going to do it for your live by weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Rich County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich County.